Hi. Um, today, I want to talk about equation. So last time, you studied the expression. And in general, equation looks like expression is equal to another expression. Okay. So then together, this form is called an equation. So for example, um, we already discussed the identity last time. Two times x plus y is equal to two x plus two y. So this is an equation. But what is special about this is um, this is equal, it's true, for all x. Okay. This case is we say it's identity. So identity is, is a special kind of equation. Yeah. So in which is true for all x. So let's look at another example. Okay. Um, so for example, um, expression 2x plus 3 is equal to 6 minus x squared. So this is an expression. So this is another expression. So together, so this is an example of equation. But uh, you can easily see that this is not an identity. Okay. So let's review how you show this is not an identity. So what do you have to do? You have to give me one, at least one counterexample. Right? So you have to give me the value of x in which both sides are not equal. Um, any good candidate? You want to try? Maybe the easiest one is, yeah, just give me the easy one. x equals to 1. So then in this case, So your left-hand side is 2 times 1 plus 3, which is 5. Your right-hand side, which is 6 minus 1 squared. Oh, wait a minute. So you gave me the one which is equal. OK, so now give me the one. So it, in this case, it doesn't work out. Actually, it turns out this is also very, very useful information. So I'm glad that you made a mistake here. OK? So let's try something else. So 5, OK? So x equals to 5. So now you have left hand side 2 times 5 plus 3, which is 13. You're right? 6 minus 5 squared, which is 6 minus 25, which is equal to negative 19. OK, so now so, okay, so we got they are not equal. So that's why we showed that this equation is not an identity. Okay. So actually, uh, for most of the equations are not identity. Okay. So, so how do we use this? The typical use for the equation is if you want to solve some problem, for example, um, any practical problem, okay? then now you have to turn this into the equation. Okay? Okay? Then now you solve. Then you have to now interpret this solution into the real world solution here. Okay? So sometimes you know, 
you can just uh, get the solution directly from the the practical program. Okay? But just math just tells you the way to get the solution um, by using uh, equation here. So this process is often called modeling. Okay? And then here, so you just interpret. So let's do one example of, uh, we, we study this one later. Okay? So uh, let's look at a simple example for the equation. So for example, expression 2x minus 5 is equal to, or it's just a number, okay? but a special expression equals to 3. So in this case, the typical, the question you are asked to do is to solve the equation, okay? which means you just find, find x which satisfies the equation. And in particular, uh, you want to find all x's. And then, uh, for this simple one, uh, you can easily get x by using uh, the algebraic rule, which is you can just add, subtract, multiply, and divide. Only the divide, the division is no? you can add, subtract, multiply, and divide the same number okay, to the both sides of the equation. Okay, so this case. What you can do is, since you want to solve for x, means you want to isolate this x. So, to, for example, first to cancel this minus 5. So now you want to add 5 to both sides. So, So if you add 5 to both, now negative 5 and positive 5 is canceled out. So now you have 2x is equal to 3 plus 5 is 8. Then next, to get x, so now you want to divide both sides by 2. So, so you divide, then you get x equals to 4, which is the solution of this equation. So this is perfectly fine, but um, at this level, what I would recommend you is to just write this process using shortcut, namely if you compare this one and this, so this negative 5 is canceled out. So it's gone. And instead, you have a plus 5 here. OK? So that's why instead of writing this way, so you can move this negative 5 from left to right. And then you have to change the sign. So this is. Uh, this is a nice rule to just remember. Okay? The rule is you just switch the side, then you change
change the sign okay, of the term. Okay, so let me just give you one more example. So this case, you have two expressions again. Then what you want to do is you want to combine these axes. So first, you want to move these three x from right to left. Then uh, using that rule, so this is a plus positive 3x. So that's going to be the negative 3x. So you have to change the sign. On the other hand, you want to combine these uh, constant numbers. So now you want to move negative 7 from left to right. So now this is negative. So this means you really add plus 7 to both. Okay? So, oh, sorry. So this is now 7 here. Okay? So this is cancer, but instead you have a positive 7 here. So this is 7. And then you just have to keep okay, the term you didn't touch. So now you can combine these two. So this is going to be uh, 2x, 5x minus 3x, which is equal to 8. And again, so now the rest is the same as before. So you just divide by 2. Then you get x equals to 4. Okay. And uh, we say uh, these equations are all equivalent. Okay? The typical mistake is um, many students just put equal sign also here okay? to say that. So this is just continuation. Okay? However, this is not a good thing to do. Okay? So equal is already there. So this is equal for the equation. On the other hand, so maybe what this means is um, well, so this case is just, um, so that, that's why I don't recommend this. But uh, maybe if you put the equal here, so it means maybe you just say that uh, 5x minus 3x is equal to 2x. And that's just the identity here. Right? But as an equation, so you should write, if you want to write something, so you should write a double arrow here. Okay? So what that means is now, this is the equivalent. of two equations. Okay. So which means just the two equations exactly have the same solution. Okay. The final answer here, the value of x uh, which satisfies this, so this is called a solution. Okay, okay. thank you.